Canada expected the F-35 to dominate the skies. The Pentagon promised it was the most advanced fighter ever built. But everything changed when Sweden's Gripen E entered the conversation. And suddenly, experts, analysts, and even Canadian officials were surprised, shocked. How could a lightweight, cost-effective Swedish jet outperform America's trillion-dollar F-35 program? Today, we break down the stunning reasons why Sweden's Gripen may be the fighter jet Canada should have chosen, and why this comparison has rattled the Pentagon, shocked Canadians, and reshaped the global balance of air power. Welcome to a story the defense world doesn't want you to hear. Canada has been facing a deep and long-running air power crisis. Its aging CF-18 Hornet fleet, purchased in the 1980s, has become increasingly expensive to maintain, difficult to keep mission ready, and severely outdated compared to modern threats. Availability rates have dropped, spare parts are limited, and pilots aren't receiving enough flight hours to maintain cutting-edge combat proficiency. With rising tensions in the Arctic, expanding Russian activity near Canadian airspace, and growing NORAD responsibilities, Canada urgently needs a modern, reliable, and cost-efficient fighter. Yet political delays, budget debates, and shifting procurement strategies have left the Royal Canadian Air Force stuck in limbo. Canada's air power crisis became the trigger for one of the most controversial fighter jet decisions in modern history. Sweden designed the Gripen with one mission in mind, to outperform great powers using smart engineering instead of massive budgets. The philosophy behind the Gripen is radically different from jets like the F-35. Instead of depending on huge bases, complex maintenance, and foreign support, the Gripen was built to be simple, rugged, and fiercely independent. Swedish engineers focused on what truly matters in real combat. <sighs> Operate anywhere, even from icy roads, small runways, or remote bases. Quick turnaround. Refuel and rearm in minutes with a five-person ground crew. Ultra-low maintenance. Engine swaps in under an hour. Repairs on the field. Modular upgrades. Software and hardware updated like a smartphone without foreign approval. Electronic warfare first. Digital stealth to jam, blind, or spoof enemy radars. Survive modern threats. Prioritize information superiority, not just raw speed. This philosophy created a fighter that is agile, affordable, and incredibly hard to target. A jet engineered for nations that need top-tier performance without relying on superpower infrastructure. Despite the F-35's massive budget and global hype, Sweden's Gripen E surprisingly outperforms it in several mission-critical categories, especially those that matter for nations like Canada. Here are the six areas where Gripen takes the lead. 1. Arctic Operations Gripen is built for cold-weather survival. It can operate from icy runways, frozen roads, and remote bases conditions that often ground the F-35. 2. Maintenance and reliability. Gripen requires far fewer maintenance hours per flight and can be turned around in minutes by a small crew. The F-35's heavy maintenance burden limits availability and increases downtime. 3. Electronic warfare dominance. Gripen E carries one of the world's most advanced EW suites, capable of jamming radars, confusing missiles, and even detecting stealth aircraft. Some analysts call it digital stealth, giving it a massive survivability edge. 4. Cost per flight hour. Gripen is dramatically cheaper to operate, often one-third the cost of the F-35. Over a 30-year lifespan, this saves billions and allows more training and more flying time. 5. Sovereignty and Upgrade Freedom. Gripen offers full access to software, weapons, and upgrades. The F-35, however, keeps Canada locked behind U.S. permissions and digital restrictions. 6. Networked Combat Flexibility Gripen can operate with or without AWACS support, using its own advanced data links to build a full battlefield picture, crucial for countries with huge territories and limited surveillance coverage.
Canadians were stunned when the data showed that Sweden's Gripen E, an affordable, lightweight fighter, outperformed the ultra-expensive US F-35 in several areas Canada cares about most. Many expected the F-35 to dominate automatically, but the truth revealed something very different. The Gripen proved superior in Arctic performance, maintenance simplicity, cost, reliability, and operational independence, qualities that align perfectly with Canada's geography and defense needs. The discovery that a non-stealth, non-American jet could be a better fit challenged long-held assumptions inside Canada's defense establishment. This contradiction, performance versus politics, is what surprised Canadians the most and fueled intense public debate over whether Canada truly selected the right fighter for its future. The Pentagon grew increasingly concerned when Canada's evaluation showed Sweden's Gripen E performing better than the F-35 in several real-world mission categories. It wasn't just about Canada choosing another jet, it was about what that choice would signal to the entire world. If one of America's closest allies picked Gripen over the F-35, it would raise alarming questions for the Pentagon. Is the F-35 actually the best fighter for every nation? Are U.S. defense giants being challenged by smaller, smarter designs? Could other countries follow Canada and switch to Gripen? A Canadian Gripen purchase could have triggered a domino effect, pushing nations like Finland, Switzerland, India, Czech Republic, and even NATO partners to reconsider the F-35 program. That would mean fewer F-35 exports, reduced U.S. global air power influence, a major credibility hit to the trillion-dollar F-35 project. In short, the Pentagon feared that Canada choosing Gripen would prove a dangerous truth that a smaller, cheaper Swedish fighter could outperform America's flagship aircraft in many operational roles. That possibility alone was enough to make Washington extremely uneasy. Sweden's Gripen is proof that smart engineering can beat brute force spending, and its surprising performance has left many Canadians questioning the official narrative. The F-35 may be a powerful jet, but it is not the perfect jet for every mission, or every country. Canada now flies the F-35, but the debate continues. Did Canada overlook the fighter that was truly made for its skies? The shock remains, the analysis continues, and the world is watching. Thank you for watching this deep dive on Canada, Sweden, and the fighter jet that changed the debate.